Hello, this is Reza from Radicad, and today I'm going to show you a very uh, little but helpful trick to create a search slicer within your table. Let's say you have a table of all these text values and you want to search for a character and find all values with that character. Let's see how it works. Um, let's say we have a customer table and our customer table has, uh, let me remove these extra, uh, our customer table has a list of customers, you see their full names here and their customer key and some other fields, let's say. Um, if you want to search through these, you can have a, um, a slicer, within your slicer you can enable search by clicking on these three dots and selecting search over here. Uh, that will give you the search box, which you can search, for example, say Q and uh, and find all names with Q. But this is not in your table, this is in your slicer. Then you have to go and select every one of these one by one to include them into your uh, table, which is quite a bit of job, right? Uh, it would be much better if you had the ability to Mm, to just type in a character or select a character and see all names with that character there. Something like this. Uh, I have a character slicer which I can select the character and it will show me all names with that character in it. Um, this can be also searched. I can say for example search for W and just uh, find everything with that. Right. Uh, so it's much simpler to do it this way. Now, uh, it would have been better, better if Power BI had this feature built in, but um, and, and I'm sure that this will be available sometimes very soon, but until that time, you can use this approach that I'm telling you about to use it. So first, we have the customer table. It has all the customer's information in it. Uh, we are going to create a alphabet table, a table that we use for these characters. And uh, this is a parameter table. A parameter table means it's a table that we use to filter other values, other visuals, but they don't really have a relationship. Uh, so I'm going to create an alphabet table like this with no relationship to the customer table. And this, al this alpha alphabet table is going to have all characters in it. Uh, I've done another video previously that I explained how you can create an alphabet table. This is a DAX expression. You can download it from the link down in the description below, which goes to my blog post. You can also download the whole file. Um, this uh, will use generate series and some other functions to give me a list of characters. As you can see, I have all of these characters here. Now, I, uh, when I uh, build this table, I make sure that there is no relationship between this table and customer table. Then I create a measure, a DAX measure, to check the existence uh, or to check the contains value. So here is the measure. I'm using the search function in DAX. I'm searching the selected alphabet character within the full name column of the customer table. Uh, and minus one here means that if it can't find that, then returns minus one. If it can find it, however, it will return the character index within the text starting from one. For example, J here is one, O is two, N is three, space is four. Uh, and if it cannot find that character, it would be minus one. For example, if I'm searching for Q, the first row will return minus one. Right, but if I am searching for J, the first row will return one. Right, something like that. This is a measure, very simple measure. Uh, you can again download it from the link down in the description below. Now, the last step is I create two visuals one a slicer with the character column of alphabet table, uh, and you can enable the search box in it if you want to. Uh, one table visual with all columns you need from the customer table and their full name as well. And then in this uh, visual, I add a filter. This is a visual level filter for exist, which is the um, measure that we have created. And I'm saying that only show values when this is returning one or greater than one, which means when it found the value and apply filter. Uh, as a result, now, whenever I click on a character, I see all names 
with that character used in it. Right? Very simple approach, very useful. I'm sure this would be built-in feature in Power BI very soon, but until then, you can use this method to uh, get the result that you want. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.